All right, look at that blob. Wow. Millions of people in the east are bracing for uh, the first major winter storm of the season. The system is expected to bring snow, rain, ice, and strong winds to the region starting tomorrow. This video could offer perhaps a glimpse of what the northeast is in for. The storm blanketed Santa Fe, New Mexico with snow yesterday. So joining us now in Studio 57 is CBS News New York meteorologist, John Elliott, hey, as I off, live and off, breathe. Let's try and uh, tone it down on all these technical terms. Look at that blob. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's not Look, technically I'm a not blob. the scientist the here. Yeah, I'm the kind of the artsy fartsy type. Yeah, so yeah. that looked like yeah. a blob We're to me. We're humanities majors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what is the forecast looking like for the Northeast so region? So we are definitely on blob watch. <laughs> I'm going to do this again. Again, I'm, I'm uh, you know, I'm with WCBS upstairs, so I'm coming down and spending time with my friends. You talk about that, you got to realize 33 million people are under mm. some kind of advisory. The bulk of that is winter weather advisory. This again, if this fires up again, this is a model of what we anticipate this thing is going to do. And did you notice, oh, this is the thing that drives us crazy. New York is right on the line. Mm. Mm. Philadelphia, mm -hmm. not much of an issue. Mm. Harrisburg, huge mm. issue. One of the great little resorts here, Shawnee Mountain, big yeah. ski yeah. resort. Yeah. Shawnee, Shawnee. Sure. They are loving this. Yeah. Not only are they able to make snow in the cold temperatures, but they're going to get sufficient snow. City, though, for the city of New York, it's going to be kind of a slush event. Mm. So we yeah. had a live interview with the Commissioner of Sanitation. Their plan is to just widespread salting. So you've got to remember, the other side of this is all of the rain that's going to come in. So there's a phenomenon that happens here where the rain will mix with the salt, and that brine can fire, like, fi you know, fires up these strange little subterranean fires. Mm. Really? So, uh, yeah. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I didn't yeah. know about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. And then also, I mean, I'm just looking at some other wind guidance. The wind guidance through the lakes isn't bad, but the flip side of this, the, we're going to have... This uh, people hate it when we do this. We're gonna have 50 mile an hour winds for mm. the Jersey Shore. Mm. Wow, I know. So if you if you're trying to get out of here tomorrow mm -hmm. uh, and travel, let's say to the West Coast to get away or try mm -hmm. to get to Florida, mm -hmm. what do you no, think no, is gonna no, happen to the, the airports? I'm glad you, that's great. Let's talk about what you're trying to do. A friend of mine wanted to go to a lunch in the Bronx tomorrow. <laughs> That's us. That's me and Mary and my wife and Silly and our baby. And we'll be giving out their home phone. <laughs> you change your plan, you're going today. You, you can do lunch in the city tomorrow. If you're flying to L.A. from New York, Philly, Baltimore, D.C. tomorrow, hey, an early flight, you're great. Okay. The carriers like to have the planes ready to go. You're fine. You're flying over this thing. Now, if you're going to Atlanta, they're still going to be cleaning up. And don't forget, right after this one, we get a break in the city. We have a break on Monday. And then Tuesday, we have another significant storm oh, wow. that over the weekend will bring blizzard conditions to the Dakotas all the way down into Texas. Mm. And then there's another one next weekend. Just going through all this stuff. I love these, uh, these maps. <laughs> and, uh, the meteorologists are all the same. Oh, yeah. They bring out their maps. Yeah. They're like, this yeah. is so great. <laughs> so here, I mean, so this right here, this again, yeah, this is a foot of snow. And our friends, Boston, yeah. Portland, that part of 95 is a mess. Yeah. 95, you get over the GW, get through the tunnel, you're fine down into Philly. Timing locally for us is tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. We wrap it up in New York early on Sunday. And then our friends at CBS Sunday morning, Sit back, enjoy that show. Right. Then the weather show moves to Boston. Interesting. Mm. So I don't know if you guys have done kind of your long-term forecast. Mm -hmm. Have you gotten a look at what the winter might look like? It's going to look like this. Mm. It is going to look like this, where it's going to be all these near miss. The gradient between what you see and what you don't see is yeah. going to be very tight. And if it sets up, problem is right here, 95 sometimes is the line. Because what happens when area low pressure comes here, pulls in that warmer air. And then it just destroys the snow, brings in two inches of rain. Mm. So then you could have beach erosion, you have inland flooding, and then, you know, a 40-minute drive and you're shoveling snow. Well, one other very important thing, this is going to be very, very heavy snow. We call it heart attack snow. Yeah. Not to be cheeky, but because the mass in any shovel is going to be big. And the areas here... Parts of the uh, New York, in my viewing area, Jersey and New York, mm -hmm. and then there are many copious advisories in the north, east. It's because of snowfall rates. So if you have to shovel, um, you have to have a plan. If we get one inch per hour snowfall rates, you have to stay ahead of that, mm -hmm. which uh, 
No people, one likes hey, to do no it, but you got to get out there. Shoveling more than once. Yeah. Because if not, it gets to be too heavy and yeah. too hard wow. to manage. Yeah, well, that's good uh, advice. All my hopes are pinned on Puxatawney Phil. Because what of what John say? said. Well, because John said this is yeah. going to be like it's going to be like You're this this winter. You're going to pin your hopes on a rodent. You have, yeah. John, yes, you have yeah. John right yeah. here. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> let's take a poll <laughs> of all the weather people. How much do we hate that thing? Um, uh, no, here's the other thing too. You talk about the winter forecast. You know, if the, if the polar vortex doesn't break down, yeah. you know, if it just stays up there, but if it breaks down and all of a sudden you get more cooler air, we're going to get big snow. Mm. If not, it's just going to be these kind of wet, annoying. Big for some, nothing for others. One other quick note, until they yell at me in this thing. Yeah. Um, the Commissioner of Sanitation in New York said they have saved millions of dollars by not having to salt for about two years. Oh, wow. and, okay. they're, and they're using that money for artificial intelligence to make sure the plows can cover every borough in New York. Oh, so I know other municipalities in our area, probably elsewhere around that's great CBSN land, have saved a lot of money, and now they're going to need that money for a big storm like this, and then a blizzard for the plains that brings more rain on Tuesday. It should be interesting. Everyone yeah. always thinks that their their street's the last one to get plowed. That's right. Let's see what this fancy see, yeah. AI, AI does. Can do. Yeah. 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 Uh, look, uh, a rodent doesn't have the education, the knowledge <laughs> that John Elliott does. But can you just imagine for the a moment a little groundhog, a little groundhog in a beautiful three-piece suit, yeah. holding a little yeah. microphone, little cute groundhog, like. <laughs> Uh, so it's what, it's this is what studying blobs will get you, kids. Exactly. John Elliott, you got to come down every day, man. Hey, this is much hey, fun. Hey. Thank you very much. Good luck, good luck. Thank, Thank you. you.